Welcome to this VMAX video tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to download and install MySQL. If you recall from our previous videos, we installed the OpenSIM uh, server with the default installation, which used SQLite. This was very easy to install, but the problem is it wasn't giving us very good performance, and uh, that'll become a problem as we uh, attempt to make more use of OpenSIM and have more users uh, running it simultaneously. So we're going to want to use MySQL. Okay, so we can get started. What you want to do is bring up the browser of your choice and go to www.mysql.com. Okay, this is the website and you want to go to the download section. And under downloads, you're going to scroll to the bottom and you'll find MySQL Community Edition. That's the one you want. And on that section, you want MySQL Community Server, which is the top link. And on this site, what you're looking for is MySQL Installer 5.7. Uh, as always, if you're watching this video uh, sometime in, you know, six months to a year after I've made it, uh, this version number might change. So you're going to have to sort of figure out what the latest version of MySQL is. Okay, and on this installer, there's two ways you can download it. One is a web installer, which quickly installs a small file, and then as you go through the installation process, it will then download from the internet the larger files it needs. Or you could download all those files at once and then do the install. We're going to do the web install. So just click on download. It's going to ask you to sign up. You don't have to, so just go ahead and start my download and then save the file. This uh, download's going to go quickly. So just run it and give it permission. You might see this little pop up down here. It's going to ask you permission to say yes. And there it goes. All right, so how to configure it. Let's see if I can get this thing over here. Um, there are pros and cons to uh, the different installation types. We're just going to go ahead and use the developer default. So click Next. Um, you probably won't get this warning. Uh, I've had previous installs of uh, MySQL on this system, so that's why it's giving me this. So chances are you won't even see this. Okay, we're going to check requirements. Uh, you don't need any of this in order to make it run, so just click Next. Give you a little warning. And now this is uh, all the stuff that it's going to install. So just go ahead and click Execute. Now you can see the status. It's telling you whether it's installing, and in some cases it'll say downloading and installing. Um, and this could take some time, depending on how fast your internet connection is. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be back when I'm done on my end. And we're back. And looks like everything installed properly, so we just hit Next. There's a couple more steps. Um, yeah, getting the configuration. This is uh, not terribly difficult. Now, you will have to create a root account. The root account is very important. It's how you administrate uh, the SQL Server. So um, yours is going to look a little different than mine. Mine exists this way because I had a root account available. Uh, but it's going to ask you for the root password. So you'll have to enter that in. And uh, make sure you remember that. <laughs> remember the, the root password for your SQL Server account. If you lose that, uh, you're going to have um, a bad time. So uh, just remember that. I'm going to type in mine. And you have to do it again. Yeah, see, now mine looks a little bit different because it's asking for my current root password um, because it's expecting me to change an existing one. You're not going to get that. All you, You're going to type in your root password uh, twice, uh, but uh, yeah, instead of three times. Uh, my password is weak <laughs> because this is just kind of a test server, but uh, make sure if you are doing anything important uh, that can be accessed by the outside world, uh, use a strong password. And then you just go next. For the Windows service, everything is good uh, as it is in the defaults, so you don't have to do anything here. And now it's going to apply the um, server configuration, so you just type ex or click Execute. You'll get some notifications when this happens. Uh, 
probably a, a little window will pop up and it, uh, telling you that your services have changed. Uh, you might get that twice during this installation. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get it. Oh, there it is. So I got uh, I got it there. You might get it twice, and uh, that's normal. Okay, click finish. And yeah, we'll cancel that. And uh, there you go. You should be installed. Now, uh, in order to make sure we're installed properly, you'll go to your start menu, go to all programs, and what you're looking for is the MySQL folder. And under there, you will find under MySQL server, the command line client. So you want to click that. Now you remember the password. Hopefully you remember the password that you included for your root account. This is where you use it. So you want to type that in. And now you are in SQL Server. We're going to uh, finish up now. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to configure your SQL Server, my, the MySQL Server for your OpenSIM project. Uh, for right now, if you're in this window and uh, you want to take a break, uh, the command to get you out of MySQL is quit. Whoops. Okay, in the next video, we'll set up uh, SQL Server for uh, OpenSIM and uh, have a good one.